so um, we'll start off with question number 42 okay so it's about lesser florican with reference to lesser florican which is recently in news consider the following statements the first statement says it is listed as vulnerable on the international union for conservation of nature's red list and second statement says lesser florican is endemic to indian subcontinent and you have to pick out the correct statements here <coughs> which of the statements given above is or are correct so with regard to lesser florican so, um, see, when it is coming to the environment part, uh, when you are uh, preparing uh, from uh, the environment portion, it is very important for you uh, not to skip the important species part, okay. So, you have to update it with the current affair. So, while dealing with important species part, you have to uh, learn about the basic facts regarding some of these species like where they are found or the protected areas associated with these species or so what all are their peculiar characteristic features all these things you have to uh, be aware of with regard to certain uh, species so which all are those important species we have uh, seen in our uh, regular classes while discussing the protected areas part so coming back to the question here it is asking about lesser florican okay so with regard to lesser florican keep in mind it is the a uh, smallest lesser florican is the smallest it is the smallest in the bustard family okay it is the smallest in the bustard family and it is uh, as per the iucn red list we know in the iucn red list uh, the species are um, categorized based upon their threat perception and here lesser florican it is uh, categorized as critically endangered okay it is categorized as critically endangered as per the IUCN red list and it is not vulnerable it is critically endangered and it is uh, belonging to or it is being given the highest degree of protection under um, our domestic act that is wildlife protection act of 1972 it is uh, categorized under schedule 1 of WPA so it is given with highest degree of protection there also okay so lesser florican it is critically endangered as per IUCN status and uh, in India, it is given with the highest degree of protection that is under Schedule 1 of uh, WPA and it is the smallest in the busted family. Okay. So, um, keep in mind this bird, the lesser florican, it is endemic to the Indian subcontinent. Okay. The lesser florican is endemic to the Indian subcontinent and you can see this uh, particular lesser florican uh, mainly in tall uh, grasslands. Okay. Mainly in tall grasslands and in the summer uh, times, this particular um, species, lesser florican, it is restricted to the areas that is the uh, northwestern regions and the central Indian part. Okay, that is mostly in summer times, it is restricted to the northwestern as well as central Indian part. Uh, but in the winter times, you can actually uh, see it more widely distributed in our country. So, mainly the areas where you can see this particular uh, species is uh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, uh, mainly during the monsoon season. Okay. So, that is with regard to lesser florigan. So, here the first statement says it is vulnerable. So, keep in mind lesser florigan is not vulnerable, it is critically endangered. So, first statement here it is wrong. There are second statement which says lesser florican is endemic, endemic to uh, Indian subcontinent that is actually a right statement okay it is endemic to uh, the Indian subcontinent. So second statement is right which means your answer will be option B here your answer will be option B two only. So please uh, go and revise your important species part along with your uh, updated current affair okay when, while you revise your current affair portion you will uh, get to know which all are the species that are uh, recurrently in use. So, such species are very very important. Moving on to the next question. Next is question number 45 with reference to conservation assured tiger standards which is recently in use consider the following statements. CATS is a set of criteria which allows tiger sites to check if their management will lead to successful tiger conservation. And second statement says the Global Tiger Forum and World Wildlife Fund in India are the two implementing partners of the National Tiger Conservation Authority for CATS assessment in India. Okay. So, conservation assured tiger standards, it was there in the current affair. So, it is important. Okay. So, CATS 
or the conservation assured tiger standards it is important um, it was there in the current affair as well so with regard to this particular standards it is actually a set of criteria okay it is actually a set of criteria which is uh, allowing the uh, tiger conservation network or which is allowing the uh, tiger um, sites to check whether their management with regard to the conservation of tigers uh, is leading to the successful conservation of tigers okay so to check that whether it is leading to uh, successful conservation to check that they can actually use or it is uh, they can use this particular criteria or we can say cats or conservation assured tiger standards is for um, those tiger sites to check whether their management is leading to successful conservation of tiger so basically cats is actually a, a set of standards so you can say it is a set of criteria for tiger conservation effective tiger conservation and um, it was officially launched in 2013 this officially launched in 2013 and in our classes we have um, seen like we have see, already seen cats but uh, keep in mind while we are uh, while you are dealing with the environmental organizations like uh, be it the um, national environmental organizations or be it international environmental organizations there are certain things that you should keep in mind like, like the nature of the organization whether it is an NGO or whether it is a governmental organization or like um, the funding mechanism of that particular organization under if it is a government organization under which ministry it is coming who is uh, presiding over like who is the chairman all these things are very very important okay what is its mandate basic um, functioning nature of that particular organization all these things are very important while you are dealing with environmental organizations part yes coming back to question so cats is just actually a, a set of criteria for tiger conservation and in india it is actually the global tiger forum another important organization global tiger forum and wwf india which are uh, the implementing partners of the national tiger conservation authority for cats assessment in india so these are the two important organizations which is associated with cats in india so that is very important okay so here actually both the statements are right first statement is right which is um, saying about the basic objective of uh, conservation assured tiger standards and second statement is saying about its implementing partners in india so both the uh, statements are right in this context and your answer here should be option c and with regard to the current affair part linking this particular uh, portion with the current affair part recently 14 tiger reserves from our country it has been uh, recognized 14 tiger reserves has given uh, have, they have been given the recognition of cats or conservation assured tiger standards so recently the um, 14 tiger reserves from india has been given this particular um, recognition from cats okay so go and revise which all are those 14 tiger reserves okay so that's with regard to this particular question so here option c is your answer both one and two like both are correct in this particular context so c is your answer 